I'm gonna be using a product called Shellac. You can find this at a hardware store. It is sort of an old school finish for wood. It is from a shellac beetle. It's a secretion from a shellac beetle, which is pretty darn interesting to me. There's a lot of other products that will work for this. All of them have their upsides and downsides. For example, hot wax works great. However, it's highly flammable and you can use cold wax or you can use polyurethane. There's a lot of different um, products that you can use. The downside to shellac, it has two downsides in my opinion. Number one, it's going to destroy your brush. So use a brush that you, um, you know, you don't mind um, destroying because it, it's going to wreck it. The other downside to it, it, it does have an odor to it. So you want to use this in a well-ventilated area. The advantage of it is it dries very quickly. Now, um, ideally you do this on bone dry. Mine is almost bone dry. You can see it turning. It's pretty much white all the way through here. But over here it's a little wetter. By the time the shellac dries though, it will be bone dry. For this process, it's a painterly style process. It's very loose and you're gonna lose a lot of the detail. So it's good for people that are really painterly and you're gonna be loose with your brush strokes. It does not work good for intricate patterns. If you're gonna do something intricate with it, it's not gonna work well for you. So this suits me pretty well because I'm pretty loose and painterly when I um, like to work. Um, I'm gonna do some diagonal lines going across this plate and I'm going to do a, a pretty simple pattern. I'm going to do some lines and then some uh, dots and that's going to be about it. So I'm going to go line, dot, line, dot. Again, this is uh, it's very loose so you're going to lose a lot of detail in it so I wouldn't get too worried about if you make a, a small mistake like uh, maybe I didn't get the dot as much as I wanted to. Don't worry about it. You're gonna get, um, that's just part of the deal. Okay, and again, um, keep it loose. You're gonna lose a lot of this detail, and I think that's what makes the process really interesting. So I'm gonna go, I need to let this dry. It dries very quickly. Again, that's one of the upsides of shellac, in my opinion. Um, I'm gonna put it aside to dry. It'll probably take about 10 minutes. We got our plate. We got our plate here. The shellac is for the most part dry. If you can touch it without it being sticky, you're good to go. And um, we're gonna use a, a dish of water and our sponge. And the important thing is here that we're going with the decoration. The idea is not to wipe away the shellac, but wipe everything around it. So you're basically gonna use the process of erosion to erode the clay around here, and the shellac is gonna protect it. It's like a hard candy shell, and it's gonna protect the the clay underneath okay there the trick to this is to rotate your sponge and rinse the sponge often and use the right amount of water if you come over here and you pour water on the top of it it's gonna turn it's gonna slake down the clay and it's gonna turn it into a mush so there's but if you don't use enough water it won't erode it at all so you want to use a little bit of water but you don't want to have big puddles in there so that's too much water I'm gonna squeeze a little bit away and again, I'm not going on top of the shellac. I'm going next to the shellac, and I'm gonna scrub and rotate, scrub, rotate, scrub, rotate. And I'm gonna keep this process going until I can already see a little line where this is raised up. We're creating some relief already. Relief just means it's raised. So that's the whole process of that. It, it takes it takes a while, but the result is gonna just be stunning and it's completely worth it. Again, you don't wanna have a big puddle of water like that. So you wanna manage the puddles. If you do get a puddle, just wipe it away. And you're trying not to wipe away the shellac. If you just scrub right on top of the shellac, it will, it'll erode it right off, which sometimes can look pretty interesting actually. So um, I'm trying to go next to it. I'm putting a little pressure on it and I'm scrubbing right into it and already I have a nice little bit of relief going on there all right so I'm gonna go to my next one scrub and I'm gonna keep that process going until I've completed the whole thing All right, well that just about wraps it up for this. 
I'm gonna see if I can get in there and get some really close up shots of this so you can see the relief. But it's a very cool process. Um, stay tuned, I'm gonna do a, a, a more advanced video of how to do in like color into this. And it's a pretty cool thing. And I'll also do a comparison video between shellac and polyurethane and some hot wax and maybe some cold wax in the future too. So if you're not already subscribed, subscribe. Subscribe and um, see if I can get some really good shots of this the relief on this, but man, it's looking good